hello guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is allison i'm so glad you're here if you have not already subscribed you should definitely do so if you want and then introduce yourself down below so we can chat and get to know each other i don't want this to be a one-sided relationship before i get into today's vlog i did want to give you guys some updates because You've probably noticed I haven't posted a new vlog in two weeks, which is so unlike me. If you guys know, like I really take pride in being very present and consistent on my YouTube channel. But there have been some things going on, just in general, nothing bad, but I did want to update you guys. So this plant is literally in the view, but it kind of looks cool, but also it's like in my face. Anyway, so first things first, I was in Michigan for 10 days visiting my boyfriend's family. It was so good to meet all of them finally because of COVID, we hadn't had a chance to go up there. So I got to explore Michigan for the first time. I'll insert some photos here. It was so pretty and I had such a good time and I can't wait to go back whenever it's like fall time and winter and like see the seasons change and all of that because well, we don't get that in Texas. Next thing, I actually got a promotion at work, a very exciting promotion. So as many of you know, I work at a company called American Threads and I've been an assistant manager for two and a half years now, so a while. And I actually got offered a store manager position at another one of our locations, which is super exciting and it's been going well this was my first week and everything's going really well i'm super excited for the opportunity and just to be able to you know challenge myself in new ways and learn more and gain more insight in terms of retail and management and anyway lots going on over here so another thing i've been working a little bit more because I jumped from an assistant manager to a store manager. So obviously that does require a little bit more of my time, which is okay. I'm so thrilled to have the opportunity. But with that being said, it has affected my consistency on my channel. So I just wanted to let you guys know that is why it's been for a good reason, but I definitely missed uploading content for you guys. Another thing I'm definitely considering you know, incorporating some nine to five, like morning routine, nine to five night routine, that kind of thing. Since I am working full time now, let me know what kind of content you guys want to see from me in regards to that. Obviously my vlogs and regular content is still going to be in the mix, but definitely looking for any kind of feedback from you guys. And then lastly, I've been meal prepping because I've been working so much. So I vlogged a couple of those clips of just meal prepping and taking guys through the process. So I'll insert those clips right here. So I went ahead and pulled out all the ingredients to make the Asian chicken wraps. I've never made this before, so it's kind of just trial and error, but by the end of this video, I'll be able to let you guys know how it turned out. So, so first I have the Angelic Bakehouse seven grain wraps. I've never tried these before, but I read a lot of reviews and people seem to like them. I aim to get the sprouted wheat because, or sprouted grains, I guess you could say, because I feel like it's easier for my stomach to digest. So stay tuned on this. And then I also picked up the miso jalapeno plant-based dressing to dress everything together in. You know, I feel like a wrap that's dry is just like not a good wrap. I have these little matchstick carrots, a head of romaine. Obviously, I'm not going to need all of this, but you can never have too much romaine. And then I also got these wonton strips just for a little crunch. And lastly, some premium white chicken. It's already cooked, so that makes things a lot easier. But I think this is, you know, going to be all the ingredients. So first, I'm going to start with cutting this head of lettuce. So I just cut up all of this romaine and rinsed it, and I'm just going to set it aside. Put all of the 
canned chicken in a pan and I'm gonna add in a little bit of the dressing just for flavor okay, next I'm gonna add in some of the carrots just to get them a little bit um, more softened so I just filled the wraps with a little bit of lettuce and then I'm gonna add this combination on top of this and then I'll finish with some wonton strips are all packaged up in the future i might use a different wrap because these kind of fell apart a little bit but that's okay <laughs> lastly for the wraps i'm gonna fill up a little bit of these little containers with some of the dressing to have on the side and like dip them in And then I also prepped three overnight oats. I showed these in my last vlog, so you'll have to go watch if you want the recipe, but. There's also a couple other things I wanted to share with you guys. So I have been a lunatic, and as you guys know, I'm very OCD type A to the fullest, and I've been making labels for my store. Let me show you. So as many of you know, here is my label maker, love her, but I've been making labels for all of the stuff that I have at my store just to make it really organized and clean because I'm going to be training a lot of new staff members and I just want everything to be really organized and everything to be very easy to find. So anyway, I've been making a ton of little labels. And I think I went a little overboard, but I keep trying to think of more things that I can label. So I don't know why I'm like this, but it's really fun. This is my label maker. If you guys are unaware, I got it from Costco. It's the best thing I ever have purchased. Highly recommend a label maker. I'm pretty sure I found it on Amazon, so I'll link it down below. It's on my Amazon shop page as well. I also wanted to show you guys as a congratulations celebration present for my new job i got myself an apple watch so this is the apple watch se it's not the brand new one that just came out so it's definitely more affordable i got the 44 inch one and then the gold band which i love because it's more my style looks professional and i can kind of like make it cute and fashionable too and then i have on this little pearl bracelet that i got from brandy melville I just got this little cat dental kit from Amazon because I was watching a TikTok video about like hygiene for cats and like, you know, helping them live longer, better lives. And so I ordered Archie and Marlo a toothbrush because I want them to live forever. So I'll let you know how this works and I'll keep you updated because I'm just a cat channel at this point. Okay, so it's been a few hours since I finished up 
the plastering Archie just ran out here and literally stepped in the middle of it. So now there's footprints Um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna like get rid of it yet. I kind of think it's funny So I kind of want to keep it if it looks good. So we'll just see how it ends up but this plaster that I used The plaster that I used it's actually not plaster the joint compound that I used is by Drydex. I got it at Home Depot, but it goes on pink, and then as it dries, it turns white, which I kind of think is cool. So you can kind of see it as it dries because I don't want to hang it up too early, but it's kind of hard with the lighting coming in right now, but I'm going to be putting it right here above the couch, and hopefully... It will be dry before the end of this vlog so I can show you guys. Also, I'm moving this. I've had enough. I want to get a lamp over here. I just haven't found the one that's perfect yet. This is the current situation. It'll look better when it's actually dry, but I'm excited. Here is the finished product for any of you guys wondering. Um, the lighting in here is kind of weird, but this is what it looks like. I'm obsessed with the way it dried because it's slightly like an off-white color, which I really love because the couch is definitely kind of pulls gray sometimes, but I'm trying to like pull more cool tone whites instead of the gray but I'm obsessed. So next I just need to get a lamp for this corner. I'm thinking maybe I'll get something other than white to break up all the white, but also I love white, so that might be hard. But the living room is slowly coming together. I was thinking about getting a different coffee table, but honestly, I think I'm gonna stick with it for now. This rug is from Ruggable, if you're wondering. I really love it. And then over here, I have this um, vintage tessellated stone table that I found on Facebook Marketplace, as many of you know. And then I was thinking of getting like a cool little chair for this corner. There's not a whole lot of space. I kind of wish we mounted the TV over just a little bit more. So I would have more space for a chair, but it's not that big of a deal. I just think it would be fun to have like a little nook over here to like edit videos or read or journal, that kind of thing. So I'm keeping my eye out for a chair and then I want to change this little pot. I thought about using the same stuff that I used on this painting to do that on the pot, but I kind of feel like I need a bigger pot. So stay tuned on that but yeah it's slowly coming together cat tree <laughs> um yeah i think that's all for the living room updates right now slowly but surely making progress <laughs> i also wanted to show you guys i made my coffee this morning with this creamer as you guys know i love the oat milk creamer from silk but I saw they have a pumpkin spice one. Um, it's just made with almond milk, which is fine because I like almond milk too. But this morning I mixed it with a little bit of almond milk to kind of dilute the flavor because I don't like it to taste too sugary. It was great. Highly recommend. And it doesn't have a ton of added sugar like all of the other pumpkin spice ones do, I feel like. So highly recommend. <laughs> 